Hi and welcome to Expedition 8. This video is an overview, of all the milestones and their rewards. So although I'll go through each one, there are timestamps in the description, if you want to know specifics. Time to stand tall, and put those big boy pants on. Let's do this! The first milestone in Phase 1, is called Log 1, Emergency. This requires you to read the entry in the freighter log. The rewards for this are pretty generous and are as follows. 2 ship augmentation slots, a salvage frigate module, 2 wiring looms, a freighter cargo bulkhead, and purple freighter paint. The second milestone is all hands on deck, for which you have to repair critical freighter systems. The rewards for this are, 2 antimatter, 3 ship launch fuel, and 2 repair kits. Milestone 3 is called Planetside, and just requires you to set foot on land. The rewards for this are, Refiner Room Plans, 210 Oxygen, an X-Class Hazard Protection Module, and a Mining Beam Upgrade. The next milestone is a well-oiled machine, where you need to construct a refiner room on your freighter. The rewards for this are simply, a Warp Hypercore, and the Freighter Storage Room Plans. The fifth milestone is called Engage Engines, and requires you to warp to a new system in your freighter. The rewards are, Warp Hypercore Plans, a Salvaged Hyperdrive Upgrade, and Amplified Warp Shielding Plans. The next milestone is called Supercargo, and requires you to construct the freighter storage room. For this you'll receive, Interstellar Scanner Plans, and two Salvaged Frigate Modules. The 7th milestone is called Galactic Catalog, and requires you to install the interstellar scanner on your freighter. The rewards are, 2048 nanites, a powerful movement upgrade, and a powerful pulse engine upgrade. The 8th, and final milestone in this phase, is Rendezvous 1. You simply need to reach the rendezvous point marked. The rewards for getting there in one piece are, Magnetic Resonator Plant, 3,333 nanites, the salvage frigate module, and two inventory slots. This little lot, completes phase 1 of the Polestar Expedition, and rewards you with, the Pilgrim Poster Plants, the Polestar Poster Plants, and the Heavy Shipping Poster Plants. Right, now on to phase 2. The first milestone in this phase is, Log 2, Into the Black. This requires you to read the second entry in the freighter log, but you must be in the Rendezvous 2 system for this to be available. The rewards are, Orbital Exocraft Materialization Plants, Free Wiring Looms, and the most important item, Yellow Freighter Paint. The next milestone here, is to just reach the second rendezvous, but it has some decent rewards, which are, Teleport Chamber Plants, 3333 nanites, the Salvage Frigate Module, and two exosuit inventory slots. The third milestone in this phase is, Drop Protocol, and requires you to construct the Orbital Exocraft Materializer. Once complete you will receive the following, Nautilon Chamber Plans, Romer Geobay Plans, and the Exocraft Specialist Room Blueprint. The next milestone is, Freedom of the Seas. Here you'll need to deploy the Nautilon Submarine. In return, you'll be awarded. Two Supreme Sub Drives, Nautilon Cannon Upgrade, an Aquatic Treasure, and the Osmotic Generator Plant. The fifth milestone in Phase 2 is, Across Infinity. For this, you'll need to construct the teleport chamber aboard your freighter. The rewards are, Tech Room Expansion Plans, Construction Specialist Plans, and the Advanced Mining Laser Plans. The next milestone is the Engine of Life. This will require a load of scanning, as you need to discover 20 flora, but the rewards are Double Cultivation Room Plants, a Supreme Scanning System Upgrade, and a Powerful Mining Beam Upgrade. The seventh milestone in Phase 2 is, The Air We Breathe, and is completed by building the Double Cultivation Room on your freighter. The rewards are Biological Room Expansion Plans, Nutrition Room Plans, and a Collection of Seeds. The final milestone in this phase is optional, and called Hospitality. This requires you to visit another player's freighter base, but is not required to complete the expedition. However, if you wish to keep this save, then you will be rewarded. 
Atlas Pass set, 5 million units, and the complete Portal Glyph set. So some very useful rewards. You'll now have completed Phase 2, and with it, be rewarded the High Gravity Freighter Trail customization, which is very cool. Hurrah! We're now onto Phase 3. The first milestone is to read the freighter log number 3, Homesick. Remember, you'll need to be in the corresponding rendezvous system, to be able to read these logs. Once read, the rewards are Decoration Base Parts Set, and Turquoise Freighter Paint. The next milestone is to reach Rendezvous 3. Once you arrive you'll receive the following. Stellar Extraction Plans, 3333 nanites, Salvage Frigate Module, and 2 Inventory Slots. Power and Industry is the next milestone in this phase, and requires you to construct the Stellar Extractor on your freighter. The rewards for doing this are Scanner Room Plans, Industrial Room Expansion Plans, and the Appearance Modifier Plans. So everyone can be a GEC! Yay! The fourth milestone in this phase is called Wing Commander, and requires you to recruit three pilots to your squadron. The rewards for this are Supreme Pulse Engine Upgrade, Supreme Launch Thruster Upgrade, and Supreme Ship Shield. The next milestone is Galactic Defender, and requires you to shoot down 16 pirate ships. Once complete the rewards are Ship Weapons Blueprints, and 3 Salvage Fleet Beacons. The sixth milestone in Phase 3 is called By the Stars, and is the longest milestone to complete, as requires you to complete 8 fleet expeditions. The rewards once done are 3 lots, of 200 ton frigate fuel, a mineral compressor, explosive drones, and a holographic analyzer. Next up is the milestone Farseer, and is simply to construct the scanner room on your freighter. The rewards are Galactic Trade Room Plans, Freighter Glass Corridor Plans, and Reinforced Window Plans. The final milestone in the third phase is Home Comforts, and is to construct the Galactic Trade Room. The rewards are Bulkhead Door Plans, Exterior Platform Plans, Exterior Catwalk Plans, and 16 Glass. You'll have now completed Phase 3, and be rewarded with Navigation Archive Plans, Flaming Barrel Plans, and the Data Display Unit Plans. We all know these are the rewards we all want the most. So, on to Phase 4, and the first milestone here is to read Log 4, No Going Back, from the Freighter Bridge. Remember as before, you need to be in the corresponding rendezvous system to access the log. The rewards are 2 Underwater Oxygen Upgrades, 10 Life Support Gel, and Green Freighter Paint. Reaching the Rendezvous 4 location is the next milestone, so fairly straightforward. The rewards once there are 3333 nanites, salvage frigate module, 2 inventory slots, a multi-tool expansion slot, and a cargo bulkhead. The next milestone is called Stardust, and requires you to destroy 50 asteroids. The rewards for this fun task are 400 liquid sun, 1234 oxygen, and 5 ship storage slots. The fourth milestone in phase 4 is called Reclamation, and entails you finding, and restoring a crashed ship. Once complete, the rewards are Aeration Membrane Plans, Efficient Water Jet Plans, and a Supreme Life Support Upgrade. The next milestone is called Recycling, and requires you to scrap a ship. The rewards for this are Supreme Movement Upgrade, a Lost Artifact, Supreme Launch Thruster, and 5 Repair Kits. The 6th milestone in Phase 4 is called Prospector, and requires you to discover 15 different minerals. The rewards are pretty generous with, 3 Salvage Frigate Modules, a Supreme Scanning Upgrade, and 25 Salvage Data. The final milestone in this phase is called Gold Like Sand, and is rewarded once you have earned 9 million units. The rewards are, 600 Quicksilver, 3 inventory slots, and a terrifying sample. Sean loves his terrifying samples. This completes phase 4 of the expedition, and rewards you with the fleet commander's keep customization. We now move on to the 5th and final phase, and as before the first milestone is to read the captain's log aboard the freighter. Remember to ensure you are in the final rendezvous system. Once read, 
The rewards are Homeworld Repeater, Tin Antimatter, a salvaged hyperdrive upgrade, and orange paint. The next milestone is to reach the final rendezvous. Once there the rewards are 3333 nanites, salvage frigate module, 2 inventory slots, a multi-tool expansion slot, and a cargo bulkhead. The third milestone in phase 5, is called the life beneath the sky, and requires you to discover 25 creatures. The rewards for this one are, quite literally shit. 25 creature pellets, a supreme scanning upgrade, and a big pile of 128 poops. The next milestone is called Mission Control, and requires you to have bought and command 8 frigates. The rewards for this are much better. A salvage fleet fuel unit, a salvage fleet trade unit, a salvage fleet mining unit, and oh yeah, another terrifying sample. Deep Sleep Cruise is the title for the next milestone, and simply says, make contact. Spooky! The reward is just the plans for a singularity engine, whatever that is. The sixth and final milestone in this phase is called Superluminal, and requires you to install the Singularity Engine. Once installed, the rewards are Chromatic Warp Shield Plants, Temporal Warp Computer Plants, Salvage Hyperdrive Upgrade, and Ship Hyperdrive Plants. You will now be at the end of the Expedition 8, and be able to complete Phase 5, rewarding you with Title, The Seeker, Polestar Expedition Decal and the Polestar Expedition banner. You can now also unlock the Expedition 8 final reward, Child of Helios Companion Egg. Congratulations and take care! See ya!